Ready? One, One two, two, three. Busy, busy as ever, man. <laughs> Listen, it's never been easier to be great. Never. Guys, look, I want some of you guys to make a decision today. Make a decision, man. Stop playing small. Dude, stop. Listen, you don't wear it well. It's not who you are. Dude, you're perfectly capable to be crazy and to do anything that anybody else in the world has done and even do it bigger. But you have to commit. You have to become a student of the game. If you're not a student, you're not learning. And if you don't fall in love with learning, you don't want to learn, you're going to stay the same. The more you grow, the more you scale, what's going to come into your life? Adversity and distraction. It's proven. The three years that I've scaled and gotten better in my life, the more distractions have, have come my way. You name them from you know, people reaching out, offer me different jobs, offer me better positions, I'll pay you more money. Women all of a sudden DMing me, coming into my DMs, um, trying to mess with my marriage. The, I, I'm talking just all kinds of shit. And as you grow and scale, if you don't have the discipline, like a lot of men and women would take that distraction and be like, oh, I'm out. New job, more money, whatever it is. So these disciplines that you're putting into your life and the stack that you're putting in the site, this new knowledge, it helps you unlock here in your mind to understand that all these things that are gonna come against me, these adversities are, are, are built for one reason, to make me derail. I wanna ask everybody, how much are you training right now? You know what I think? I think the word training, for some reason, to some people, is just not sexy anymore, right? Like to train, like, but if you were to go to a professional athlete, and you were to say, hey, you want to train? They'd be like, hell yeah, I want to train. You go to anybody in any other industry, you say, I want to train, I want to train. The automotive space, the word training has, has, has almost become a turnoff because of the people that the people in the automotive space hang out with, okay? There's so many people, listen to me, if you've ever been around somebody that says, you don't have to train, that person, they have settled. They have settled. And, and they may even have a better life than you have. But here's the deal, they have settled. Let me tell you the truth. Anybody you're around who is a good mentor, who is a great person, they will tell you to never stop learning. Never, always pursue, always pursue until you, until you die, becoming the best, becoming a great. You gotta remember that, okay? We have a very competitive family at the LA Boot. I got the Macklins, I beat the shit out of them every day. They haven't beat me in a competition. They can say whatever they want, they have not beat me. They don't beat me in the physical game of life when it comes to working out, running. I hope they're on this call because they know this old man whoops their I'm more disciplined. They're not on this call, are they? They're not, they're not on this call. Guys, I'm gonna, I, I want you to make a decision. Write this down. Do you wanna be, and, and, and tell the truth. Do you wanna be coached hard or do you wanna be coached soft? Okay? I needed to be coached hard. I needed somebody that, that would just tell me the truth. Don't make me feel good. Listen, I don't want to be right. I want to win. So many people just want to be right. Screw being right. I want to win. So I need to be around a coach that's like, dude, you're wrong. Like, you're doing this wrong. And I am coachable, so I'm like, okay, all right. So what do I need to do? And then they can tell me, and then I go do it, and then I win. But so many people now, when you tell them something, they don't want to change. And if people don't change, nothing changes. And why do people change? Because of their why. Okay? So why do I do this? Well, I do this, obviously, because I want to give my family a lifestyle they never could imagine. But I'm already past that. They already got that now. That was my why in the beginning. My why has changed now. I'm not after trying to make money, guys. I'm after one thing. I want you guys to become the best in the freaking world. And I want to be there for you guys like I didn't have someone there for me. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Number one, you got to quit quitting. And you got to quit getting in your head. A lot of you guys, you get in your own brain and you self-sabotage yourself constantly.
dude, you're the elite. You're the best. You're the freaking baddest. Dude, if you don't like you, how the hell is anyone else going to like you? If you don't like you, how is anybody going to follow you? Dude, how are you going to do anything and be great at it if you don't believe in it? I always call it being an active participant in your own rescue because if you freaking see something that you know will rescue you, swim towards the raft. Yeah, don't swim backwards. Don't be like kicking when the guy's trying to rescue you, yeah. you know? You know, like that, like just let the guy. It's like somebody's trying to give you CPR and you're like, and you're like, don't, don't do it. I'd like, rather die. You're like, I'd rather like, don't bro. kiss me. COVID, you know, so COVID. There, so you want to, you want to end your day and you want to start your day with gratitude. And what will happen is, is the middle part of your day will tend to go a lot better. Yep. Like, you know, you need to start it in gratitude. So I always write down three, four, five things I'm gratitude, grateful for. It could be my family. It could be getting on this call. I'm grateful Sandra's Sandra's Sandra. Sandra's call today. I was going to say Sandra. I was going to say Sandra. Oh. I'm grateful that I get to see Memphis every day and I get to talk to my, on, my clients that provide a level of energy for me. Yep. You know, we're people too. Decide to develop when your time to train is. It, it, it has to be planned the day before. So there's a deal I always say, plan tomorrow today, okay? Um, I, I was writing down, talking about time with my team, right? And um, I, I wanna kind of read something to you guys. And, and you can write it down if you want. But I was explaining to my guys the difference between productiveness and busyness, okay? Um, I was talking to them about that the person that does the most tasks, right, isn't the most successful person, okay? It's the person that gets the most important tasks done is the one that wins and i asked him the night before you should be writing down a list of the most important tasks that need to be done um to me listen to me my business and my life and my family it all mingles into one i don't have any separation okay the gym flows into the way i produce when i sell the gym flows into my organization and my discipline um, that i that what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm gonna do it the gym does, okay? So that's part of my working out. My working out, I mean, my work, right? The way I feel about myself gives me confidence to flow back into the gym. Also, the way I lead my team, I lead from the front, the sides, and the back. I'm a 360 leader. I don't lead from people, oh, I just lead from the front. No, I lead from all angles. I wanna set the example. I need you guys to do me a favor. Can we decide to set the example? Can you guys raise the standard? Set the example, you, right? you for other people around the world winning is noble it's the right thing to do i really would like to see you guys be the future that everybody looks up to in the world the number one thing that people won't do is they won't have direct conversation with themselves you nailed it's it. the one problem you nailed if it. we can do that you become a it changes everything you become a millionaire and I'll, and I'll tell you why if you can change that and you actually understand that look if something sticks up on the back of your neck that should be the one thing that you might be being a pretender on that might be the one thing that your brain's lying to you and saying, look, I'm doing that. No, that might be the thing that you're not doing that if you actually wrote down and you were consciously paying attention, you could go back and change your life today. You want to be free? If you ask people, hey, what's freedom? Everybody's got a different version. Mine is not caring what other people think about me. That is my ultimate level of freedom, okay? The times I've lost was when I overthought it and I became paralyzed with fear and I was thinking what someone else was thinking about me. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe. Make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free, F-R-E-E, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.